Okay, uh, good morning year five and welcome back to term four. Okay, so <clears throat> um, our literacy, our English this week is linked uh, to our topic. So if you don't already know, our topic um, is called Off With Her Head and um, we're going to be exploring the world of uh, Tudor England and maybe a little bit further afield from um, our own shores as well. So <clears throat> let's get started with this week's English by looking at some spag. So we're going to be focusing on some silent letter words um, this morning. So here are the words. Now, as always, with the um, looking at your words, you need to know what they mean. So if you're unsure of the meaning of any of these words, ask an adult or look it up in a dictionary, but you do need to know the meaning of the words. Okay, so first word, we've got doubt. Now, <clears throat> which letter do uh, we not pronounce? So which letter is silent? That's what you have to be clear about with all of these um, spellings. So with doubt, we can't hear um, the B, okay? So B is a silent letter. We'll look at our next one, which is debt. So can you guess which is the silent letter there? Hopefully um, you identify that as being another B. Okay, we've got solemn and we've got column and we've got knuckle, lamb, thumb, autumn, night and not. Okay. So your first task, just try and identify the letters which are silent. Okay. Right, moving on. So what do we need to do? What I'd like you to do is to use these words to fill in the missing gaps. Now, this um, <clears throat> knight has written down on his skull, a uh, skull, scroll, um, uh, a piece of information, okay? And it's missing some of the words which are in our list. So I want you to make your own list so there are nine spellings that you need to write and put them in the correct place so you don't have to write out the whole passage all you need to do is write down which word you think comes first second third and all the way through those spellings so i'll read out what it says he's written i made a oath to my king i would settle that i would the tower wall at night the moon shone clear and i could see the stone before me i had no that my prize lay within the thick walls <clears throat> i tied many in my rope took off my armour and threw the grappling iron over the wall. As silent as a sleeping, I began the ascent. My grazed against the rough wall. Okay, so pause the video. You might want to read back through that again um, and see what you come up with, those missing words. Good luck with that task. See you in a moment. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> so hopefully you've had a go at that first activity and check that you have spelt them correctly. That is the whole point. Um, and let's uh, mark together. So it should read, I made a solemn oath to my king. I would settle the debt. I would climb the tower wall at night. The autumn moon shone clear and I could see the stone column before me. I had no doubt that my prize lay within the thick walls. I tied many knots in my rope, took off my armour and threw the grappling iron over the wall. As silent as a sleeping lamb, I began the ascent. My knuckles grazed against the rough wall. OK, so check your answers against that. I hope you did OK. Um, and let's move on. So today, what we're going to be doing this week 
um, we're going to be creating our own wanted posters. So we're going to be looking at the features of wanted posters um, this morning and what makes a good wanted poster. Okay, so this week you will be on the trail of a man and you've been given a small leather bound book that appears to be some kind of diary that belonged to this person. You were tasked by Sir Thomas Avery to create a wanted poster in order to capture this evasive criminal. So time is running short. What I'd like you to do is just have a little think. What features would you expect to see on a wanted poster if you're on the in the bubble you might want to have a little chat um, if you're at home as ever have a think about it you might want to jot down a few ideas okay so pause the video now just have a quick think okay now what did you come up with what is the purpose of a wanted poster now with most posters they are displaying some form of information Okay, so let's just run through. A wanted poster should include these features really. So a description of the person, um, this could also include an image. Okay, so you want a detailed description of the person. Um, where they have been seen or visited, um, so that can build up a kind of map of their movements and what they have been up to or events that have taken place surrounding their movements. So why are they wanted, okay? Uh, and their crimes, punishment, and often a reward too, okay? So it should include all of those things. So what we have got <coughs> for this morning's task is um, an example of a wanted poster okay and we're going to use this wanted poster to identify those features and <clears throat> there are also 10 questions that you need to retrieve the information from this poster and um, both of those are in the resources um, area so you will need to have a look at those okay so i'm going to read it out wanted Catherine Jane Eddowes is believed to be a young woman of the age of 24 years. She is the daughter of a yeoman farmer. She has a restless spirit and has been seen to be drunk and swearing in the small town of Folkestone on many occasions. She's about five feet tall and is believed to have stolen a gown belonging to the Lady of Acris Manor, having threatened the housekeeper. She currently has no fixed home and her father has not seen her for three weeks. A man states that he saw her in Madam's Wood late at night, muttering strange words around a fire. He claims that he saw her throw some black, grey and white rabbit's heads into the fire and cry out, death to the lady. She is known to be dangerous and carries a dagger. If you have any information regarding Edo's, you must bring it forth. There is a reward for her capture. A trial and punishment will be de uh, dealt in the city of Canterbury. Okay, so obviously um, a dangerous character there, Catherine. Um, so you will need to have a look at the questions and see if you can answer those questions okay and you need to write down the answers in your book right so <clears throat> have a look at your uh, wanted poster you've got to identify the features so did it include all of the things that we looked at or discussed on our second slide um, you should use clear evidence from the information so don't make anything up you've got to retrieve the info from the writing okay you could decide on her punishment so um, there is a list of different Tudor punishments um, also in the resources so you could decide on what punishment would best fit her crimes okay and you could or might 
also describe her. So you could write a little description about her and you can use the picture that I've put up on the screen here as well. Okay guys, good luck with that. Um, good start to uh, the week. I look forward to um, the whole week in front of us and I'm just going to say cheerio.